Well, by now we've all likely heard about the health benefits of dark chocolate. It's supposed to be a powerful antioxidant that may even lower your blood pressure. And there was even one study recently that reported that eating chocolate every day can help you lose weight. Did you see the headlines on that? Well, that sounds too good to be true, and apparently it's because it is. It turns out that that study was a, a hoax. It was a study sent out to expose quote unquote junk science and the unchecked media coverage that goes along with some of these health studies. Dr. Ernest Patty, senior attending physician of emergency medicine at St. Barnabas Hospital here now to talk to us about this. I mean, in all Thanks, honesty, Jenna. we had to check to see, did we actually do a piece on this? Because, you know, you get several different headlines a day. You're looking at something interesting for the viewers. You try to source all your studies. And well, we did. We don't think we did, but this this reporter was trying to show how easy it is to dupe the media into repeating headlines that people may take seriously for their health. As a doctor, how do you see this? Well, basically, I looked at it as it was sort of a sting operation, really, to sort of put everybody on notice. You know, research studies are done all over the world every day, and lots of them glean really good information. Others, though, aren't designed properly, and it's tough for you to really extrapolate information so from So what them. This, this science journalist did, he does have a background uh, in, science, in right? science as well, yeah. and he actually did put together a study. It just wasn't a study that was enough to actually extrapolate information from. So he took a very small group. Right. He used, used a used, large number of variables. Uh, used a large number of variables, got a few headlines from it, and found a journal that ended up publishing his work. Right. And it included dark chocolate. And we all know in today's society, people want the, the quick, easy fix for problems like losing weight and, you know, increasing energy and things like that. And when dark chocolate was mentioned, as a uh, as a solution sure. to your weight problems, everybody jumped <laughs> well, on the bandwagon. Well, it sounds great. You know, how do you know? How can you educate yourself as a consumer of information to know if a health study really means something that you can apply to your life? Well, you you really want to. Uh, Obviously, you want to speak to the experts if you can. You want to look at the study, and you want to see how many people did they study. You know, if they studied thousands, uh, hundreds of people, that's a good sample size, you know, depending on what it is they're actually trying to prove. Uh, also, you have to see if the people who wrote the article regarding the studies actually spoke to the researchers themselves. Hmm. You know, many times that communication doesn't happen, and they assume that this is what they were looking at, but when, in fact, maybe there were other variables that were not taken into account. I'd like to rely on your medical expertise on this. I I wonder if there is no new science. What I mean by that is that we know more or less what's healthy for us, what's healthy to eat, and that what we're really discovering in a lot of these studies is shades of gray. You know, more or less salt is good or bad for you, chocolate is good or bad.